community group leaders and teachers. I hope y'all are doing well, having a fabulous day. Hey, I'm excited because I get to introduce to you this week's Leadership Minute. This is one more tool that you can have in your tool belt as you lead more effectively. This week, we're continuing to talk about dealing with difficult people, and I want to talk specifically about what do you do as a community group leader when someone shares something that causes you some concerns, rightly so. Whether it is someone that shares a prayer request or they just say something in passing that, that makes you question and want to know more. Uh, maybe it involves a uh, threat to harm someone, threat to harm some themselves. Maybe it involves a uh, potential threat to harm a minor or, or there could be some kind of abuse taking place or could take place soon. In any of those instances, what do you do? The first thing you do is you take the issue seriously. If, if someone is sharing something to you in confidence, then you can let them know that you may involve some other people in the process of that because the reality is, is that you want everyone to be safe. And you may ask for some advice. You might even say, look, I might ask a pastor for some advice on how I can encourage you. And in that case, come talk to me. Talk to any of us on staff. We want to help you navigate through whatever difficulty may be conveyed. Uh, you may also want to um, talk to another community group director, community group leader. If so, that is totally acceptable. Invite other people into the conversation. And, and if there's anything fishy specifically involving threat to harm self, others, minor, or, or any kind of abuse that, that sounds like could be in play, please contact me. Contact Chris Matthews, contact Darren, contact any of us on staff. We want to help you walk through whatever this issue is because ultimately we want whoever the person is to, to be safe and be cared for, but we also want, if there's anyone else involved in the picture, we want them to be safe as well. And so I hope this gives you the courage and the confidence if and when anything comes up, you can talk to any of us. We want to walk with you through that. So I hope that it's helpful, and I hope you and your group have a very Merry Christmas. Have a great week. God bless.